Cizu just posted. Okay, you have to see this. This is Finn. We're about to show. Oh my goodness! Take a look at him. He's a resident of the Oklahoma City Zoo, and this week the zoo's eighth caretaker took over their Instagram, and we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close-up. Kind of looks like you. What are you sort of did she just say my boy look like a gorilla live on air? I'm gonna have to hit the Picard on you. Man, look, I'm gonna have to hit the Picard on you, baby. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to hit the Picard myself. This is sad. There goes that strange guy again. I think they call him Fatal J. Man, people just treat me bad. Especially little kids. What up? It's your boy Fatal J back again with another video. And today we're not going to really be touching on Marvel. Today we're not going to really be touching on Star Wars. Today we're not really going to be touching on DC movies, films, and pop culture. Well, this might be pop culture because this topic just went viral. Shout out to my boy Brother Yah for bringing this to me. He always bringing that heat. Their realism and what's going on in the world. But we're going to be talking about a TV anchor in Oklahoma by the name of Alex Houston. Okay. And they was talking about the Oklahoma City Zoo. And they were showing pictures of the gorillas and how cute they were. And then right before it transitioned back to the main news topic, she said this to the guy. It kind of looks like you. Now, this is the crazy thing about it. She said it to my boy, Jason Hackett, who happened to be an African-American male. Now, I'm going to give baby girl a benefit of the doubt. It could have been so sweet. It could have been harmless in her head. But the thing about being on that camera, the, the thing about being a news anchor, you can't have opinions, too many opinions. You might can joke around a little bit and be cute with it, but when you go outside the realm of being a nice anchor and having no opinions and start getting no touchy little subjects like that, you're going to get blasted. As soon as this woman said this, it went viral all over the internet, baby. This is what she did when it started getting a little too hot all over the internet. I said something yesterday that was inconsiderate, it was inappropriate, and I hurt people. And I want you to know I understand how much I hurt you out there and how much I hurt you. I love you so much and you have been one of my best friends for the past year and a half and I would never do anything on purpose to hurt you. Alex, thank you very much and, and I, I do accept your apology and I, I do appreciate your apology. All that being said, uh, and Alex would be the first to admit to this to you, what she said yesterday was wrong. Um, it cut deep for me and it cut deep for a lot of you in the community. I've heard the, the phone calls and I've heard the Facebook messages as well and, and, and I guess Coming out of this, I want this to be a teachable moment. And that, that lesson here is that words, words matter. Now, the thing about my boy, he accepted the apology. But what I like about what he did, he kind of flipped it too. And he said, we got to be aware of these type of things that's going on. You know, we got to be considerate and we got to be loving because it seems like when we watch the news, it's so full of negative energy. These type of people versus these type of people. And I'm not even talking about race. I'm talking about this political party versus this party. This country versus this country. It's just so much division. And at the end of the day, it seems like the hippies, they got it right. The hippies like, man, we need peace and love in this world. You will be surprised how many people in the world would just want you to say a kind word to them or want you to just have a conversation with them. Some people would even take hugs. But these days in this SJW era, you got to be careful about them hugs. So make sure you ask first if you don't give somebody a hug. 
Let me know in the comment section, what did you think about this lady? Do you think she was out of line? Or do you think she was just an ignorant woman that didn't know no better? Let me know what you think. And also, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And make sure you hit that notification bell. And uh, I'm out of here. I haven't did this in a long time, but I'm just to do it.